Welcome to another tutorial, I'm 7 Beats, and today I'm gonna to show you how to create an Emma Piano Afro beat in Evel Studio. So I hope you guys enjoy it. In this case, I'm going to create a beat which is a little bit up tempo. So I'm going to pick a BPM of 170. I'm just gonna start off using a random preset from Endonok Lab 5. Electric pianos. This bass sound sounds really cool. So right now I'm going to add a layer on top of this one. I'm going to use Serum. So I'm going to use this one. Just duplicate the melody. Control C, Control V. Yet again. Promise the melody a little bit. And then short on the melody because you want the melody to be four bars. Right now, we're just going to start off by adding the drum. So I'm going to use my African sample pack, acoustic ones, clean ones, this one, drag it in, normalize it, just create a pattern like this. So right now, I'm going to start off with the first rhythm. So triplet melody. Something like this. Maybe put one in front right here. Turn down the velocity. All right, I'm gonna pick a tom. And let's pick a djembe. This one, for example. I'm gonna layer it with the third element of the rhythm. Then I found this metal sound. This one, just a sample little bit, then just copy the first rhythm to this one. I will now play around with the pitch of the sample. Then I found this one. I'm going to layer a chamber and then just move this pattern half a bar to the right. Then I'm going to add the typical Afrobeat clap. This one, turn down the velocity. All right, now it sounds way too flat, so I'm going to add some shaker loops. I'm going to add the typical Afrobeat shaker loop, and I'm also going to add a typical Emma Piano shaker loop. From my new Emma Piano sample pack, shaker loops. I'm going to add this one, make an adjustment to the sample, drag it like this. And because I cut the sample and there's already time stretched to the tempo of the project, I'm going to add this generic bleeding mode. Press song. And I think I'm still not done, so I'm going to add some more elements from my and a piano sample pack. I'm going to add a rim shot. This one with some more reverb. And I'm going to add a conga. Adding this one, duplicate the pattern from the djembe and just move it to the right half a bar. Maybe I have to add some more typical Emma piano sound. So I'm going to use Xpand 2 and search for a synth bass. I think we could use this one. We could pick an E, G or B. I'm going to add a second rhythmic synth. I'm going to use purity in this case. Preset. Using this solo alto, copy the pattern from expand to this one, make the notes a little bit shorter, add a note every bar. Turn up one octave. All right, I'm gonna add 25% of swing, and now it's the time to add a lock drum. So I'm going to use the Froti DX10 and use some of my presets, which are also included in the sample pack. So I'm going to use this one. Start off with this E. I'm 
going to create a lock drum roll right here. So select a quarter step, then just drag it in like this. And then it's great. And then something like maybe some more diversity E. We could use this B. A, duplicate the melody again. We could also add this C. And I think that's basically it. And right, I'm gonna create a short arrangement. So I've just created a simple arrangement and I hope you guys enjoy the final result. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Make sure to let me know in the comments if you think this was more of an Emma Piano Beat or Afrobeat. So I'm really curious what you guys think and see you guys in one of my next videos.